Welcome back. In this video, we are going to talk about how to choose the PoE standard from these two. You also can reference my other video how to work with this PoE standard to repeat the PoE network. As we know, the PoE is limited to about 328 feet. Adding this PoE standard to the link will provide another 328 feet. This is the one in one out PoE standard. The input is supposed to connect to the PoE switch or PoE injector or PoE NVR. The output is supposed to connect to the IP device, such as PoE IP camera, PoE access point. And this is the one in two out PoE standard. The input also will be connecting to the PoE switch or PoE injector. But now we got two output. It's a little bit curious, right? Okay, now let's just move to the demonstration world and see what's different between these two and how to put them up. I've listed the item in this wall in the description below. You can click the link to find the detail. Here, we got two PoE standards. This is one in, two out, and this is one in, one out. As we mentioned, the input need to be connected to the PoE switch. This is a port PoE switch. And the maximum distance between the PoE switch to the PoE standard is about 328 feet. After that, we could have another 328 feet. Totally, we got beyond 600 feet. If we just had to connect one camera, like this one, that's almost no different. It's that you need to block this spare R345 network port we don't use. But let's imagine we need to have a second camera. Then the one in, two out will be very handy. We don't need to rewire the cable from the PoE switch to the PoE standard. We just have to wire the cable from the spare port to a new camera. So if the cable is being buried or is being wired, then the one in, two out will be expanding not only the PoE, but also the network port. With the one in, one out, you're supposed to wire another independent cable from the PoE switch to the PoE standard. So this is the first point. If the cable is already there, with one in, two out, you don't need to rewire the cable. But when you want now, you need to have an independent cable from the PoE switch to your HD device. Okay, the second thing is about the power. You see, we only have one cable from the PoE switch to the PoE standard, right? And this is the, like the PoE plus, the maximum power budget output from the single port is 30 watt. That means this one in two hour PoE standard actually is sharing the 30 watt. So if we want try to connect two like this one, the bigger one, Pentel Zoom camera, it will not work because the power budget is not enough. In this case, you may need to just switch to change this high power PoE injector. This PoE injector can output 90 watts through a single Ethernet port. So it will go to this PoE input and make sure both output have enough power to power this Pentel Zoom IP camera. The one last thing is about the PoE NVR. This is the PoE NVR, the PoE switch is being built into this recorder. So can we use this one in to out to expand this R345 network port? It depends on how the PoE NVR decides. Some of the PoE NVR, it will detect and checking the connection through this single port. It only allow single camera pass through. So if you're using a one in, two out, you may facing the problem. The image will keep changing because you've seen first IP address from the first camera and it will jump to the second one. In this case, it's better to use one in, one out and you wire the independent cable to each of these port so you don't share the port for two camera. All right. That's all for today's video. If you have any questions, please post it in the comment section below. See you next time.